Hello and welcome to the Ridiculously Good VA Show with Tracy Daviero. If you are a virtual assistant or want to be one, this is the place to learn the tips and tricks you need to become a ridiculously good VA. I've been a part of the VA industry since 1998 and I'm excited to get to know you and help you build an amazing business. Let's go. Hey there, welcome to another episode of the podcast that teaches you how to be a ridiculously good virtual assistant. Today we have a big topic. We're going to talk about energy your energy. If you're struggling in your business, you're probably putting that out there and it's definitely hurting you whether you realize it or not. Today's quote is from Willie Nelson and it's this, once you replace negative thoughts with positive ones, you'll start having positive results. I know it seems super trivial to say that positive energy attracts positive people, but it really is true. So how can we help ourselves stay positive? That's what I want to talk about in today's episode. Let's go. Is your energy attracting VA clients or is it chasing them away? What you put out there is what is going to come back to you. When you're in business, your energy is a really important thing to focus on. It's not a woo-woo type of thing, your energy, and I'm not here to tell you that just simply having a positive attitude is going to get you VA clients, but negative energy will chase them away. Your energy is truly one of the most important things that drives your VA business. Your clients are going to be attracted to you when they feel good about who they're doing business with. If you give them the sense that things are not so great, they're not going to have the confidence to make that decision to work with you. And even more than that, keeping the clients that you are already working with totally depends on your energy as well. If you are struggling in your VA business, you probably think that nobody even notices. Maybe you think you're doing a great job of covering it up, or maybe you just aren't putting yourself out there at all so that people can't notice. You may just think that that's the way business is supposed to be. I mean, everybody knows business is hard, right? I tell you that all the time, but it's not supposed to be that hard all the time. If you are having a tough time, don't just accept it as that's the way it's supposed to be. Figure out what the plan is going to be so that you can make things better. That begins with the energy that you're putting in to all the good things in your VA business. Let's talk first about how negative energy affects everything you do. You second guess your pricing. You let clients cross your boundaries. You misunderstand clients or take what they say personally. You take longer to do things because maybe you're just not feeling it. You rush through tasks just to get them done. You lack creativity because you're in a fog and you feel exhausted. Now that list is really obvious, isn't it? We probably identify with so many of those things, but at the same time, we know that our energy levels are affecting those things. But how about these things? You keep to yourself all the time and you hope that nobody notices that you're failing or not doing as well as you say you are or as you want to be or as they are. You create content that talks about all the wrong things. You start talking about how great it is to be a a VA and why it is important for people to work with a VA instead of talking about how you can help them. You abandon your target market that you chose and you just start trying to find any clients at all. You agree to do work that you don't love doing or maybe that you're not even good at. You let your clients set your rates or the tasks that you do because you don't want to turn down money. If you're feeling any of those things, you also need to get your energy in check. So let's do it together. Here are a whole pile of things that you can do. Business is hard, yes, but like I said, it doesn't always have to be hard. And you don't just need to fake your energy in order to make things look good. What we want to do is really find those things and fix them. So today I'm going to help you find them, focus on them. Trust me, they are there. I want to start with saying you're amazing. You are ridiculously good and your clients and your potential clients need to know it. You're the one who has to tell them. Let's begin by talking about four reasons that positive energy in your business is so important. Number one, client attraction. So no, I don't believe that clients will flock to you if you just put on a happy face, but client attraction is a real thing. When you're in the right frame of mind, you show up every day and you exude confidence. 
You freely share your advice and your opinions. You invite and participate in conversations. You actually show up and become a part of the communities where your clients are. The client attraction part happens because people see you, they hear you, and they trust you. They see your confidence and they believe that you can help them. You know the words to tell them to help them believe that. They might not even be feeling very positive themselves, and you can help them see that there's a light at the end of their dark tunnel. We help people, it's what we do. So how do you help them? That's what you need to be talking about. Confidence is one of the most important qualities you can showcase to your audience, and it starts with feeling very positive yourself about your ability to help your clients. When you believe it and share it with others, they're going to see it too, and they're going to want to work with you. And that obviously is going to boost your energy as well. Getting clients means putting yourself out there and confidently describing how you can help your clients. I had a private client once who really struggled with getting clients. Well, truly, I've had a lot of those. It's one of the things that VAs come to me with all the time. But this one in particular really had trouble with understanding who they could help. So what did they do? They spent all day online combing job sites, job boards, RFP boards, hanging out in uh, VA groups, just waiting for the clients to pick them, to say, yes, yes, I need you to do the work. It was really exhausting and it totally brought down their energy if they didn't get the client. It's discouraging. It feels so competitive. When we started working together, we got really clear on what they could do and who needed the services that they could offer. We developed a plan for them to connect with those people and guess what? Within three months, they were hiring a subcontractor because they had already too much work. That comes from client attraction. It exists because when you put the right energy out there, you find the right people and you have the conversations that lead to those people saying yes. That's really all we want to do. We want to have a conversation with a client who says, yes, I'd like to hire you. That's the goal. That's where we're going to. And the plan needs to be in place to do it. Don't do a whole bunch of other things that are not working for you anyway or that are dragging you down. I can help you put together the plan you need to use every single day to find great clients for your VA business. Number two is confidence. If you don't believe that you're the best person to help your clients, they are not going to believe it either. It's a little bit of a catch-22. If you're struggling to get clients, then you might not feel like you're the best VA for them, but you still are. You're just struggling to get clients, not to do the work that the clients need. Measuring our confidence is a really important thing to do. A lack of confidence in your abilities to either find the people you can help or charge them accordingly or do the things they need is extremely common, especially when things are not going so well. And the funny thing is you might not even realize you're putting it out there. I can absolutely assure you though that you are. If you're not sure, take an objective eye and look in some of the VA groups for the conversations that are happening in them. When we struggle, the language the language we use to describe our situation proves our lack of confidence. And you know, I've told you before that the brain needs to hear five positive things to counteract just one negative thing. So even if you aren't saying things out loud, you are definitely dragging your confidence down just by thinking that maybe you're not as good as other people are. You have to believe in yourself before your clients will believe in you. When I work with you privately, as your VA coach, we record the sessions. And there's a reason that I do that. We want to refer back and, you know, things that we talked about, whatever, but we do talk. And this very cool thing happens when you get to your sweet spot. If you've done private coaching with me, you'll know what I'm talking about because I bring it up very often. When you start to talk about something with confidence, your whole demeanor changes. When we dive into what you do for your clients and I ask you about something that you know really well, the confidence comes out in your voice. Your voice changes completely from not being sure about something to completely confident. I hear it and I love it and I spot it every single time. And I'll tell you after the call to go back to the three minute mark or whatever and listen to the change in your voice. It's something we don't really often do get a do over, right? And so the session recordings are really useful. But what happens is you settle in. You start to use all the right words. You're not tripping over any words anymore. You add all the right details and the confidence just comes shining through. That's good energy and that's what your clients need to hear. So if you aren't sure how to change the language you use and find your confidence, 
that's something I can help you with. I have so much confidence in your ability to be great. I would truly love to help you get there. Number three is communication. Did you know that one of the most common problems that VAs and their clients have is just a communication problem? We all work virtually, of course, and so we rely on the online methods of communication out there, which are not usually face-to-face -face or voice-to-voice. -voice. And there are so many opportunities for us to misunderstand each other or leave maybe too much to the imagination. In fact, the majority of the complaints that I see VAs making about their clients and the communication that they have is due to a lack of communication. It starts because we're not used to being on equal ground with our clients. We're still thinking as an assistant and we think that the clients get to call the shots. But newsflash, they do not. And so we do whatever they say. We sit back feeling more like an employee than a business owner. Your clients can totally crush your energy like no one else and it happens all the time. I could spend all day giving VAs advice who have let their clients treat them badly. I try not to, but I could. It's not always the client's fault either. They've probably never worked with a virtual assistant as a partner or as an equal before. And truly, if you're acting like their employee, then that's simply how they're going to treat you. But getting a handle on your communication is something that can turn your energy around like nothing else. It's not personal, it's business. If you get great at business communication and leave your emotions out of it, your energy honestly will skyrocket. I'm pretty active in the VA groups, as you guys know, and I, I work with my own VAs who are in my uh, clients in my VA mastermind group or through private coaching, but you're going to see my comments publicly in many VA groups, and a lot of them are giving examples of how to change the words that VAs use when they communicate with those clients. Business is business, and it's important to articulate what you want to say using business words. You don't have to be someone you aren't. You can totally be yourself, but just state the facts in your communication. Instead of trying to explain things with a million words and apologizing for your words that you've used or asking the client, is that okay? You need to just stand behind the boundaries and the rates and all the things that you've created. And just create a way to describe those to people using business language. Use those words all the time to be clear and concise and in charge. That is great communication. I can help you with this. It's actually something I've always done exceptionally well, not even on purpose. But it is my pleasure to help you gain the confidence that you need to help keep your energy high. Number four is credibility. Before we get a roster of amazing clients, we have to build up credibility as an amazing VA. And to do that, you have to put yourself out there and the energy you project is what's going to affect your results. Like I've said, your audience needs to believe that you are the best one to help them. That's the point that they will make their buying decision and say yes to working with you. Credibility comes from what you put out there and what others say about you too. You know your expertise, but are you confidently sharing that with people? in your social media posts, your networking conversations, and so on. You're actually probably the best kept secret, even though you don't think you are. We have this notion that when we go into business, when we publish our website, when we post on social media, that the entire world all of a sudden sees it. But they don't. We have to work very strategically to put ourselves in front of the people who will potentially, potentially be our clients. And that's not everywhere. If you don't have the right energy in your content or in your networking, it's going to come across super obviously to your clients. How many times have you posted, I have a special on, or I have an opening for a client, or I'm looking for someone to barter with, even just discounting your rates in general? Dropping your price for any reason just screams desperate. Well, maybe not screams, but it definitely states it. But guess what? It's not just you. If your clients respond to the word discount, they're probably putting out that same kind of negative energy that you are as well. And it's going to be a recipe for disaster at some point. Starting a relationship with a client for less than what you want to earn is a serious issue. Total red flag. Don't sacrifice the money now for the money that you will earn when you do things right. Just learn to do them right. Find your best clients. Do amazing work with them. Earn what you know you're worth and you need to earn. And your credibility is going to speak for itself. I tell you all the time that my clients were six and seven figure business coaches. That was a conscious decision. 
they also had to be working with a coach of their own for me to work with them. You're allowed to define these things in your business. Don't work with just anyone. That's one of the things that can really mess with our credibility. What if you said yes to a client that can't afford you and then you don't get them the results they want or you end up fighting with them about money? That's going to be a client relationship that ends badly and you can see it coming a mile away. It doesn't matter which way you look at it. I advise VAs to find the clients that can afford them, that need them, that value them and do great work with them. Those are the clients that are going to praise you from the rooftops. VAs who are earning what they want to earn and working with clients that they love, or at least doing work for client work they love for, for great clients, that's who we strive to be. And that is how you build up your credibility. And obviously, it's going to be amazing for your energy levels too. So those are four reasons the positive energy is so impactful in your business. But how do we get there? And how do we stay there? You have to give yourself all the help you can get. Number one, define what success means to you. When you have a clear understanding of what you need to feel successful, you can help yourself confidently get there. I did a vision board a long time ago. It was my first one. I didn't know what I was doing. Didn't even know what a vision board was and mine totally sucked compared to everybody else's in the workshop. But I stuck on pictures of things I wanted and places I wanted to go, that kind of thing. I stuck on words that I wanted to feel in my business and my life. And I recently did a big office cleanup and I found it. It was kind of funny because everything was falling off of it. Um, but then I noticed something really, really cool. I had achieved a lot of the things that are on that board. I didn't realize it. I didn't use the board like at all. I don't even think I hung it up because it was so ugly, but I did put the right things on it. Success to me meant going to those places and getting those things. And I have, I didn't need a vision board to follow. They really were the things that I wanted and I've built my business to get them. You need to define what it means to you and start helping yourself get the things that you want. Number two is success routines. Setting yourself up with routines that will instill success in your business is the most important thing you can do. Figure out how you get clients and do it every day. It's not luck. You can't leave it up to luck. You have to decide what your system is and you have to buy into it and you have to do it. Follow a strategy that you know will work four times out of five and it's the surest way to be confident and to stay positive. If you don't know how to do it, it's time to work with somebody who can help you. You have to map out the plan. You don't have to follow somebody else's path or plan. You need to follow yours. Ask for help, invest in help, and then do the work. You're going to get to where you want, I promise you. I would be nowhere if I didn't work with a business coach all those years ago. Many of the VAs who have taken my Getting Started as a VA self-study program say they would not be where they are without that program. Two very different expenses. I paid $750 US a month to work with my business coach. My Getting Started as a VA program is $197 Canadian, one-time fee, one-time investment. You invest what you can afford, but you have to do the work every single day. Both work. It's up to you to do the work. Number three is seek out positivity. Don't do it alone. I've said it so many times before. Business is hard sometimes, but you know what? Other VAs have had the same thoughts as you, probably right at the same time as you even. Your problems are yours, but you're not alone in having them. Find your people and let them help you. Surround yourself with people who lift you up and who you lift up to, like members of your mastermind. Did you know that when you're helping others, that gives off so much positive energy? I have an accountability partner and we talk every second week without even realizing that we lift each other up. I mean, we try to do it on purpose, but without realizing it, we do it all the time. We hold each other accountable for what our results are, but we do it in a positive manner. Like if I share something that didn't go well, my partner will honestly tell me why. Well, you didn't do this or well, you didn't do that. But immediately, she just naturally will tell me why I can do it. You have to do this because you're awesome at this. You're great at that. Remember the last time we did this? This is, these were your results. You can do it. She just instinctively does it. And both of our energy levels go up. Like instantly, I know the same things about her. Find your partners, find your people, ask them for help and give them help. It's going to hugely impact your energy levels. You don't have to do it alone. And number four, banish negativity. Be extremely aware of what you're saying to yourself and where you're spending your time. 
I know I often talk about what you say to yourself in your head because so many of us are alone during the day and either in silence or out loud are having only conversations with ourselves. But the another place that I see so much negativity is in the VA groups. We wallow in our pity when others agree with us, right? And if we tell them that a client was mean to us and we all get all of our colleagues telling us and patting us on the back, telling us, yes, they were mean, then we buy into it and we stay in that negative space and it's not good for you. You want to get yourself out of there. Go and network with the entrepreneurs who need you to be their support and start lending positivity to them wherever you can every single day. Look for it and sow it yourself. And number five, finally, when you're in it, get out of it. Am I telling you that you need to walk around in a good mood every day? Hardly. If I knew how to do that, I would bottle it. But you need to be able to identify when you're in it and get out of it. To do that, you need strategies that are going to help you. I follow an ADHD coach of sorts on Instagram named Melanie. I can find her name and tag her. She's put some really cool stuff into perspective for me that I think is really relevant to so many of us ADHD or not. She talks about energy levels as being sort of the bar for our output. And what I mean by that is that we can have habits and routines that we intend to follow every day. I totally encourage that, as you know. But what if we're having a low energy day and we can't get all that stuff done? We can't just toss aside what we need to do. We have to adjust it. And that's what Melanie teaches, to have processes for both scenarios. If we're suffering from low energy today, we still need to do stuff. But what's the bare minimum that we need to do to be effective? It's a really effective strategy. I love it. On a low energy day, you just need to do the X of the X, Y, Z. So let's circle back quickly to Willie. Once you replace negative thoughts with positive ones, you'll start having positive results. Happy people seek out happy people. Your clients are going to seek you out when you are positive. Do you have some work to do? Of course you do. We can't just naturally say, I'm going to be positive today. But hopefully, out of all of the things that we've talked about today, you can identify the areas that you might need some help and you want to be able to start putting a plan in place. So it's assessment time. Let's take stock right now together. How are you feeling? Are you struggling? Are you feeling down? Are you stuck? It's time to get out of your head and write down these three things. What do I want? Why do I want it? And how can I get it? We all know what we want. That's the easy one, right? But why do you want it? If you want clients, it's probably so you can make money, so you can pay for stuff. But really, why do you want it? So you don't have to go back to a job, so you can work part time, so you can be more present for your family. What is that why? It's so important to attach that why to what you want. It's going to help you remember why it's so important to get what you want. Like my vision board. It was in my head. It didn't need to be on a board. But I got to where I wanted to go. And now I keep moving forward from there. And the last part is, of course, how to get it. And I'm guessing that if you're struggling, if you made it this far in the episode, this is a longer one than usual, that you don't know how to get what you want. And that's totally okay because that's what I'm here for. I don't know everything. I get help in my business all the time with the things that I don't know. And you can too. I want you to know though that that's why I'm here. That's why I do the Ridiculously Good VA show. I can help you with stuff like this in your business. It's literally the reason I'm here. To help you become a Ridiculously Good VA. I've helped hundreds of VAs through challenges just like yours and got them on their way to growing their business and the lifestyle that they dream of. And I would love to do the same thing for you. Please reach out to me today if you want to talk about it. It's literally all I'm here to do is to help you get there. Take care and have a great day. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of the Ridiculously Good VA Show. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. For more great resources for your VA business, visit my website at yourvamentor.com. I'll see you back here next time.